All right, I'm back. So getting away from that topic, for people that do not know who Moot is, her name means mother in ancient Egyptian. She, she is the chief goddess or chief wife of the god Amun. I told you this field's gonna have a lot of me, uh, my. So, one of the things that you'll notice if you go to Egypt, especially you go to the um, big temple. As you'll see those ram sphinxes. Um, and then behind it, there's this big sacred lake. That was where the priests uh, purified themselves. Um, it's called the Precinct of Moot. So she was a very um, important goddess. Just um, archaeologists said that it was uh, it's been it's uh, connected. How the shape of the lake is connected to a lot of your eye of Ra goddesses, which made me want, which makes me wonder if the temple of Bastet had that lake. So, um, but yeah, I don't quite remember if All Moon and Moot had a son. I, I don't know, because right now my eyes bother me. Um, I'll look it up and see if. She did have a son, and I will put that in the next video. But if you're going to make your own um, homemade shrine and you're sanding it, please, please, even though you have safety goggles on and they're supposed to keep dust out of your eyes, close your eyes, please, because you'll end up with having my headache right now, which is my eye is all red from trying to get whatever is in my eye out of my eye. But looks really good right now. So just going to use the camera, see if I can pick up on any um, on Painted wood. So
I think that's why a lot of people when they when they have these shrines they prefer not to paint them. I prefer to spend the time and energy to actually painting these shrines. And they're going to be different colors. They're going to be yellow and blue and black. It depends on what the customer wants. These are these are personalized shrines. These are not oh you know this is you know if you want a pink uh, uh, a me to paint a pink box for Anubis I will do it I am not um, kidding on that part I will do it if you want uh, if you want pride colors for set I will do that for you basically I don't um, I don't limit colors I think that's good for me to do because it really shows to the customer that I truly am producing personal shrines to each individual customer. However, it does not go with the candle. Um, you will get one color candle. Um, But the shrine box is probably the most important part of it. So I'm almost I think I'm almost done with this part of the shrine. But yeah. So, okay, should be it. So, there we go. That's what it looks like for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let this baby dry for probably about four hours. And then what I will do is I will come back and I will paint the back of it. And I'll flip it over and let it dry on its... I'll just flip it over to where the back is up. And I probably will also paint the top of the lid to the shrine. And I'm hoping by the time I get back to you, I will stop with my eyeball. So I hope that you enjoy the video. Um, I just, when I, do, when I do videos like this, I generally do a lot of like talking about offhand topics that have like nothing to do. And that's just so that you're not just getting a video of me just painting um, the shrine. But as I said, um, I will have these. I, um, so the purpose of me doing the shrine is two reasons. One, it gives me something to photograph along with um, the candle. And it also gives me something that I can use. So... Yeah, so, um, uh, so I'll be back in four hours with uh, more painting, then I will actually do another four hours, and then I will paint um, 
the sides and that should be it as far as the paint is concerned. And then tomorrow I'll be gluing the image of Moot. And the shine will be finished as far as the initial. And then once uh, the, um, the candle has um, cured, I'm going to take a quick photo of it before I use it. Um, or I may just take a photo of me using it um, and everything. So, yeah, so I will see you guys around until next time. May you be happy, healthy, most importantly, be safe. Hell to the gods and